Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the person that is on your mind when it comes to love is not telling you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Alright, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what this person is not telling you currently, we have seeing things differently, nourishment, we also have the devil, and we have the hermit card in reverse. All right, so when it comes to what this person is not telling you, for some of you, this person feels as though you're starting to see things differently when it comes to them. And it's causing fear within this person because for a lot of you, this person is worried that you may be looking to see what else is out there. Okay. So for a lot of you, I feel as though this person, they're going to be returning to you, but they're going to be in this devil energy, meaning they may be operating out of toxicity or they could be wearing a mask. This person has a very unhealthy attachment to you. It's very much obsession, okay? Um, they do want to nourish the connection. They do want to make things work with you. But I feel as though this person will pretend to be someone that they're not. Also, you'll want to work on things with them. And then once they get you where they want you, they're going to go right back to their toxic behaviors, for some of you, if this person, and this isn't for all of you, but if they have like an addiction, some type of addiction or habit that they've kicked, they're going to go back to that or they have gone back to it. There's something that is either unhealthy, immoral, unethical, um, something that's not good, something that's very toxic that this person keeps going back to. So it could be a behavior. It could be another person. It could be a lifestyle. It'll be different for all of you. But um, they do it when they're lonely or when they're getting caught up in their head. Huh. So yeah, someone's definitely returning. That's been coming out so, so much in the readings. Um, this is someone that feels as though you're scratching them out. They feel as though you see them as someone that's not for you. So they're going to come in wanting to resolve things. They're going to come in with a solution or at least they'll try to. It's up to you whether you want things to work with this person. Um, but it's going to be a lot of work. Okay. I feel like this person embraces their dark side. They may even have like a mean streak or this is someone that's just mean-spirited but yeah they're coming back in and I feel like it's mainly because they feel like you're trying to see where what else is out there this person is in the energy of okay well wait a minute Mr. Goddess's viewer they're looking to see who else they can nourish a connection with I, 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 let me come back let me come back and um, put my mask on I got to make sure Mr. Goddess's viewer don't go anywhere. I got to make sure they don't get too far away from me. It's that type of energy. <sighs> I do feel like they really want to be with you though, but this person doesn't know how to love in a, in a healthy way. I feel like they're controlling. Like I said, this is very much obsession. It's infatuation. It's just not healthy. Someone's so worried about losing you. They're fearful of it, but they don't want you to see it. With the devil card, this person is very good at manipulating situations. They're good at manipulating other people. They're good at getting people to see things a certain way. Um, they're good at getting people to see them a certain way. So if this is someone that doesn't want you to know how much, how much or how badly they want you, they'll put their mask on and be cold toward you. They'll be mean to you. If this is someone that wants you to feel as though they don't want you, they will ignore you. This is someone that wants the two of you to be together, but it's on their own terms. They want things done their way. So it's a very possessive type of energy. I really feel like this person, they see you as an object. It's like Mystic Goddess's viewer is mine. It's that type of energy. 
So yeah, when it comes to this person with the chariot being in reverse, I do feel like they're losing confidence. Also, this person may be suffering from anxiety. Someone is not doing well mentally. It's like there are times where this person may spaz out. They may lose control. But I feel like it has to do with their life in general. They feel like their life isn't going anywhere. They also feel as though progress has stalled between the two of you or they feel as though you've given up. This is honestly someone that is on the verge of giving up on life for some of you. And I hate to say it that way, but that's exactly what I see. For some of you, they may be having car issues or there's issues around transportation. For others of you, if it's not issues with any of that, it could be that this person just feels like things aren't going anywhere in the connection between the two of you. They really want to accept the loss of you because they really feel like you're moving on. Um, they feel like you're no longer wanting to fight for this. So for some of you, they want to just accept the loss and move on. But I feel like this person has too big of an ego. And also, like I said, these cards are day-to-day -day energy. So the minor arcana with the major arcana being the devil, even though there are certain days where this person just wants to move on because it's too painful for them. Okay, they don't like being caught up in their head. They're unable to because they're in this devil energy. So the devil energy takes over them. So someone's coming back, but it's with strings attached. Things are not what they seem to be. So just make sure that you keep your guard up. I feel like this is someone that does not like feeling defeated. I feel like at some point, this person may end up coming toward you expressing emotion, okay? They may let you know that they still have feelings for you. For some of you, um, I feel like their feelings are just going to take over. And they'll end up showing you some type of emotion. And it's mainly because they feel as though there's no hope or that you've lost hope. This person is drained emotionally, See, they just feel like their life isn't going anywhere. They feel like things are not turning out in their life the way that they thought it would. So they're in a very pessimistic type of energy. With the King of Cups being in reverse, see, this is someone that's depressed. But wherever they are in life, it's their own doing. This is someone that made their bed, but they don't want to lay in it. They know that they only have themselves to blame, but they still try to blame other people with the King of Cups in reverse. There are a lot of things that may have happened to them that caused a lot of resentment, a lot of emotional distress. There are things that happened to this person that was very hurtful, okay, on a mental level, but also on an emotional level as well. They may not have had like a strong father or mother figure in their life. There's something very wrong here. I don't know if it's them feeling like people don't really love them. But I feel as though there are times where they get by themselves and they they just break down. This is breakdown type of energy. But they do it when they're alone. For some of you, they do it while they're under the influence. It could even be where this person uses certain substances to cope with their feelings, to cope with um, how they feel mentally. They may use things to cope so that they don't break down. They're thinking a lot about their problems in life. Um, at this point, they're just not really being optimistic about life at all. They're not... They're trying to be optimistic of, about you, but I feel like there are times where this person gets very much in their head and um, it causes a lot of anxiety. I feel like they can't sleep well because they're not at peace. This is someone, like I said, life is just not turning out the way that they thought that it would. So even though this person feels as though they're losing you or they feel as though you're, you've moved on or that you are moving on, I do feel like they're going to come toward you. But of course, they're going to come in very slowly because I feel like they're trying to be strategic. This is also someone that 
goes against the grain. They're very untraditional. I feel like they live life on their own terms. There may also be a person around them that brainwashes them or someone that has a huge influence in the decisions that this person makes, especially when it comes to their love life. I feel like even when it comes to the way that this person behaves in relationships, they're just too rigid. Like things have to be a certain way. Their partner has to be a certain way. Their partner has to appear a certain way um, for some of you. Um, when it comes to this person, it's like they're very rigid when it comes to relationships. And they always listen to bad advice or there's someone around them that gives them bad advice. And whoever that person is, they may not even be in a relationship or if they were married or if they are in a relationship, their relationship isn't even going well. So they're accepting advice from someone unwise or from a hypocrite. They could be the hypocrite. But yeah, I feel like this person's going to end up coming in toward you and they're just not going to be emotionally nor mentally stable. This person is being haunted, but it's their own doing. The energy that they're putting out, I feel like they're getting it back. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, this is someone that has cried. I think I've said that before in a reading. They may come off as charming. They may come off like they have it all together. They may come off like um, they're unbothered. But remember, they're in this devil energy. So that's how they want to appear. Under, underneath the surface, this person's lost. They don't know what they're doing in life. They're anxious. They're worried. They're scared. They blame themselves about things. Um, even though they don't appear that way. I feel like this person, they cry with when they're by themselves. They feel defeated when it comes to this relationship. When it comes to life in general. They feel like they have no control over their life. They're losing confidence. There's so much here. The only good thing that I see is that this person, when they do come toward you, they are going to be motivated by their feelings. I do feel like they're going to come because they really do love you and they really do have feelings for you. But at the same time, because remember, like I said before, or I think I said it, they're going to come toward you with an offer, but there's going to be something attached to it. There's always something attached to devil energy, okay? And what's going to be attached to this offer is someone that's really not in a state of mind where they can love in a healthy way. It's going to be someone that is not emotionally available, even though they have emotion for you. So they may come motivated by their emotions, but they may not even be able to express themselves fully. Hmm. This is kind of sad. I feel like you feel like home to this person. Your energy is very down to earth, very practical. They see you as someone very dependable. That's why they want to move things forward between the two of you. For a lot of you, you will be getting communication from them. Okay. And for some of you, when they come in, they're going to come in with either worries about their finances or worries about their health. I do feel like this is someone that took you for granted at some point, but I feel like for some reason, whenever this person is dealing with you or whenever they're in your energy, they feel more confident in themselves. Like there's something about you where they turn into like a lion or at least they feel that way. They feel very confident when they're dealing with you. Also, there's something about you where things are always better when you're around. So it's almost like whenever you're there, they benefit off of your manifestation power. Because for some of you, you speak life into this person. So you're giving them that good positive energy. But it's like when they lost you, it's like they lost that manifestation power as well. Your your energy is on a whole nother level. And I feel like this person knows that. Also, just be careful that they're not manipulating you into taking an opportunity with them. 
a risky opportunity with them all because it sounds good just make sure that you don't rush things because they are going to come toward you and some magician energy especially if you respond to them so they may come to you a little bit broken deep down inside but if they reach out to you and you respond back it's going to give them confidence okay that's when they're going to turn into this magician for some of you not all of you and don't force this to fit for some of you there's magic here for some of you someone has worked on this person it's possibly to make them lose their mind or to just turn their world upside down it's definitely some type of dark work that's been done to make them lose things to make them lose their blessings to make them um have financial issues to make their health bad um things such as that and whoever did it to them is someone that they took for granted and the reason why that energy finds them if someone has been working some type of spell work on them it finds this person easily because they're in dark energy so if someone's sending them negative energy like attracts like right that's how it works so this person they need to definitely raise their vibration um, but like I said before, there is something or some type of addiction, lifestyle, something that this person has been doing that they stopped at some point, but now they're going back to it. But it's a coping mechanism. It's almost like a comfort blanket. It's something that they do, um, to help themselves feel better, but whatever it is, it's not good for them. And they know that it's not good for them. And something is even attached to that, meaning whatever it is, eventually it may affect their health. Whatever it is, it could eventually affect their money. It'll affect their soul. It'll affect their spirit. It, they know that it's not good for them, but they ignore that. Mm, this one's kind of deep. All right. So let's see what else comes out. There was so much here. I could have read this for hours. Give me more. Please tell me, Spirit, when it comes to this person. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love that is time my viewers watch this reading? Two more shuffles. And I apologize for my voice, guys. The, the allergies, um, my allergies are kicking my butt. So let's see what else comes out. At the bottom of the deck, we have old fashioned. So they want to go back to the way things used to be. This person, they feel as though the two of you have an unbreakable bond. The chase is at the top of the deck. So this person's going to start chasing you. They're coming. They are coming. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Solutions. Resolution. So someone wants to resolve things between the two of you. Hmm. Someone wants you to give them access to your heart again. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Setting free. Okay. So for a lot of you... When it comes to this person, because with the setting free card being here, of course, that's about someone freeing themselves. See, this person wants to come up with a solution before you completely free yourself. Now, some of you have already freed yourself from this connection. But I feel like this person may want to resolve things. They want to come up with a solution because they don't want you to free yourself. They don't want you to get too far away from them. Huh. <sighs> Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Yeah, that definitely is what that is. With the solutions, resolutions, and the setting free card. I feel like someone wants to come in and resolve things because they don't want to set you free. Or they don't want you to be free. You see how I said that? They don't want to set you free. That's what I was saying before. This is someone that wants things done on their terms. It's not over until I say it's over type of energy. If you notice how I said that, they don't want to set you free. 
You're your own individual. You free yourself whenever you get ready. But see, in this person's eyes, you're not free until they set you free. All right, now. Hmm. That's too many cards. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently? Thank you. Okay, so we have Romantic Lover and we also have I Choose You. It's so crazy that I Choose You came out. Um, those cards fell out on top of setting free. So someone is trying to come back and choose you before you end up freeing yourself. Some of you have already freed yourself, but regardless, I feel like this person wants to come back and let you know that they still have romantic feelings for you. Give me another card. What is this person that some of my viewers currently when it comes to love? Okay, so we have opposites and we have compatible love. So for some of you, um, I feel like the two of you are very different. The two of you may have different ways of loving or different ways of showing love. But this person feels as though opposites attract. They feel like the two of you are very, very compatible. If you notice on this card, it says heaven sent. So someone feels like you were sent from heaven, like you're an angel. Wow. So yeah, this person's going to come in um, trying to make things work with you. But they're going to come with that devil energy. So there's something attached to it. Um, and some of the attachment will be this person being controlling. Them being um, somewhat unethical or immoral. Them possibly dealing with addictions. You having to deal with this person having an unhealthy attachment to you. The two of you could have an unhealthy attachment to each other. I feel like for some of you, this person um, may be... I'm, I don't know if I said self-absorbed as of yet. Um, dealing with someone that ignores wise advice. So I feel like for a lot of you, you may give this person advice and they don't even take it. They just, like I said before, they like to live life on their own terms. Um, but yeah, someone just does not want to set you free. They don't. I'm going to get a card to see what the outcome would be of this situation. Uh, for those of you that, well, whether you just choose to deal with this person or not, we're going to see. All right, so what would be the outcome of this situation? What would be the outcome of this person coming back, Holy Spirit? What would be the outcome of this? Okay, I'm almost scared to flip them over. So we have the King of Swords and we have the Six of Cups in reverse. All right, so I feel like for one, this person... Either you or either this person, someone will become kind of detached or cold. And it'll be because of unpleasant memories from the past. I feel like there are some things that this person has done that it's going to be very hard for you to let go of. Okay. Um, also, I feel like with the Six of Cups being in reverse, this is someone that will resort back to past behaviors. I feel like once they have you where they want you, they'll get sloppy or they will stop putting in the work. So they'll just come off as very, um, very detached. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that's my neighbor. Hmm. Um, making all that noise out there. But yeah, I just feel like this person, um, is, when it comes to them, it's going to be very important for you to think head above heart, okay? They do have a lot of emotion for you. I do feel like one reason why this person feels this very strong pull to you is because the two of you had a past, a past life together and there were unresolved issues there, okay, that you may have supposed to heal in this lifetime. But, yeah... So someone wants to revisit the past. Some of you are going to take this person up on this offer. Okay. Um, some of you will be reconciling, but it's going to be a little tough because of things that this person has done, or it could even be them resorting back to past behaviors. But I feel like others of you are going to be like, I, 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 leave me alone. Okay. Some of you may just take it with a grain of salt, continue to move on with your life. You may even hear them out, but I feel like you're not going to be playing with this person. You're in this King of Swords energy. So a lot of you don't want anything to do with anyone from the past. But those of you that do want to reconcile, it's going to be important for you to keep your mind strong, stand in your truth. Um, but at the same time, use head above heart. Okay. 
All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.